on our face I'll be life on open roads Toddling is on the way Toddling is on the way Toddling is on the way Last fall, I covered up our 2017 Grand Design Reflection and uh, was up on the roof and trying to pull the cover straight and forward and backwards. For those of you who cover their trailers, you know what I'm talking about. And I accidentally stepped on the skylight and cracked it. And um, I knew the minute that I heard the crutch that, uh, that I likely had destroyed the skylight so it's the spring of 2021 and I've taken the cover off the trailer ordered the new skylight and it's now time to go up on the roof not one of my favorite things to do by a long stretch but anyhow I got to go up there and uh, take the old skylight down and uh, put the new one up so I think I've got all the material I need and uh, let's get started on this project There's the skylight, right in the middle of the uh, of the reflection. And when I discovered the crack when I took the tarp off of the or the covering off the trailer, I put some uh, tape over it, and uh, just in case it rained, and it would prevent the rain from going inside the trailer. But uh, I'm up here, I've got all the supplies, and it's uh, 18 by 26. And the dealership, it was almost $250, and I ordered it on Amazon, and it was 125 plus taxes. So I saved roughly $100 by ordering the new one. Same manufacturer as the original on Amazon, and uh, rather than take it to the dealership to do, I think I'm gonna tackle this project myself. And the only difference between the factory installed skylight and the one that I bought off Amazon, the, the one from Amazon is a clear plastic and the original one, as you can see, is kind of a corrugated look, rough edge, and it's um, a, a sandy brown color. And it was a beautiful skylight had I not stepped on it, but uh, we decided that perhaps the clear one from Amazon, uh, same manufacturer by the way, would allow a little bit more light um, over the island, the the uh, skylight sits right over the island in the uh, in the reflection. So the whole process, taking off all of the old caulking and getting uh, the um, old skylight removed, was about 40-45 minutes. And in total, the entire job took about 75-80 minutes, and that included cleanup. But um, it was a fun project. It was a beautiful day and uh, I still had some regrets on stepping on the original one because I like to leave, and I'm sure you agree, things original other than things that wear. But um, it was a sad moment when I crunched the original skylight. But this way here, I've got something to do. It was a beautiful morning and I tackled this project with the full zest. And um, as I say, about 80 minutes later, I had the roof cleaned off, the new skylight installed, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed doing this. It, it was relatively easy, easy to do. I had some apprehension to begin with, thinking I should take it down to the dealership, because the roof is something that I'm not familiar with uh, in regards to leaks or um, how to repair it properly. But after watching some YouTube videos, it became pretty clear that this might be something I could do on my own.
stopped at McDonald's, hon, so. Oh, you had your... Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm trying to lift the old one off. Oh, you're down Without tearing the roof. secured to the roof and uh, yeah, I've got it uh, screwed down. Uh, the only thing that I forgot to mention was the screw holes on the new one did not align with the original ones. So I carefully sealed the original ones with lots of caulking and uh, set it down, centered it, looked at it and uh, screwed it down and then poured all kinds of caulking all around. There you go. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up or give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch you next time here on Toddle In. 